Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be discussing nutrition for wound healing, specifically protein. But first, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it truly does help my channel. So let's get started. So eating well during wound healing plays such a vital role in wound healing, okay? It helps it heal faster, and it also helps your body fight any infections, okay? Anytime we have an opening in the skin, we're at risk of infection. So, pro, uh, so vital nutrients does help with that, okay? So the nutrients that we need is protein, calories, fluid, vitamin A, C, and zinc. Those particularly are vital for wound healing. Today, we are going to be discussing specifically protein. So good nutritional status is essential for wound healing um, to take place. Ignoring nutritional status in patients can reduce the ability of a wound to heal and prolong stages of wound healing. And we all know if we stay in wound stages for too long, a wound can stall, okay? Protein deficiency has been demonstrated to contribute to poor healing rates, reduce collagen formation, and wound dehiscence. So when a closed wound opens up, okay, which is very dangerous, um, depending on how much it opens. Now, if a wound is high exudating, so a lot of fluid is coming from the wound, um, protein loss will be even more, up to 100 grams per day, okay? So obviously this needs to be replaced with a high protein diet. So how does protein help with wound healing? So it helps repair and rebuild muscle, skin, and other body tissue. Now, protein also helps fight infection. Like I said before, it balances body fluids. It carries oxygen throughout the body. When you think of a wound and wound healing, you need to think of food as medicine. Okay, eating a well balanced diet that has enough calories and protein is going to help you heal. Okay, now how much protein you need is going to depend on your age, sex, how active you are. Um, so you may need to add protein to your current diet if you're not eating enough. Um, now, if you're concerned with this, you can always speak with your doctor to ensure and see how much you should be eating for your body type. Now, what are high protein foods? So high protein foods do include your meat, your poultry, your fish, and a serving size is the size of a deck of cards. So that's three ounces, okay? So the thickness of a deck of cards, the size of a deck of cards, that's three ounces. That's one serving size of protein, okay? Now, protein isn't only found in meat. You can also get protein from eggs, dairy, soya products, beans, nuts, and seeds. So my, what, what I normally tell my patients is try to consider eating six or more small meals or snacks per day. Okay. And add a protein. Okay. Make sure you have a protein at each meal. This really, really helps. Now, you should be eating at least two to three servings of protein per day, okay? So that's two to three ounces each, all right? Um, the common food sources, so you have your meats, your uh, legumes, so beans, soybeans, um, your dairy products, cheeses, nuts, Okay, you want to be getting your protein sources from a vast variety of foods. Okay, now if you have other medical conditions such as diabetes or kidney disease, it is important that you speak with a dietitian regarding the best few food choices for you. Okay, these are general guidelines um, that I give my patients. Now, what are some tips for getting more protein? Because I know. 
a lot of my patients have had these concerns themselves and they kind of struggle adding in more protein. A lot of them eating meat maybe once a day. So here are some examples that you can do to add protein um, to your diet. So add a powdered milk to things such as foods or soups. Um, you can even add protein powder to fruit smoothies or cooked cereal. Um, add beans to soups and chilies. Add nuts, seeds, uh, wheat germ to yogurt. Um, spread peanut butter on a banana or celery. Um, mix cottage cheese into a noodle dish or casserole. Um, put hard boiled eggs into a salad or grate cheese over vegetables and into soups. Okay, those are just some ideas of how to put more protein into your diet. So I hope this video did give you a better idea of how to add protein to your diet and the amount of protein you need. Now, if you're looking for a specific diet plan um, to follow to optimize nutrition, um, I am working uh, with a company that has the perfect diet plan for optimizing nutrition um, to optimize your body. And it is perfect for wound healing. Um, and they also have all high quality supplements, um, proteins, nutrition that you need to optimize wound healing. So if that's something that you're interested in, um, I will link it up above here. Um, you can have a free Zoom with me and you can learn more about this plan specifically um, and how it can help you for your wounds, okay? So this is not a wound consult, okay? Because I do offer wound consults. I will not be going into details of your particular wound. Um, I will need to know some details, um, but I will not be providing guidance on your wound particularly, um, just the nutritional aspect and um, how you can get with this program and um, get all the supplements and proteins um, and everything else that you need to optimize your body, okay? So the link is above here, um, but that's all I have for this video, guys. I hope to catch you in my next one. Bye for now.